Hello, I hope you're well. Well, in the UK, we have now had seven weeks of lockdown and it's going on, even though this week the professor, Professor Ferguson of Imperial College, uh, whose data, or, or not data, I should say, is dodgy modelling, got us into the lockdown in the first place, has been caught flouting uh, the very rules that he helped to put in place and advised the government to put in place. Uh, obviously, he's not too concerned himself about social distancing and locking himself down uh, and keeping away from other people. Uh, so it seems to be one rule for the people who are making the rules for everybody else and another set of rules for all the people that they're telling to stay locked in our flats uh, to accept the removal of our civil liberties and the destruction of our economy. Now, look, the, the data is in now. We've got um, months of data of, of actual what's happening uh, in this country and different countries around the world. And th this is a serious pandemic. There's no question about it. But it's not Ebola. It's not the Black Death. It's as serious, perhaps, as the Hong Kong flu of 1968-1969, slightly before I was born. Um, but uh, when that happened, there was no lockdown. There was no removal of civil liberties. There was no closing of half the businesses uh, in the country uh, and the possible bankruptcy of 20%, 30%, I don't know how many businesses are going to go bankrupt because of this, the small and medium-sized businesses, which is going to lead to very, very many more deaths and suffering in the long term than we have in the short term. So now the data is in, it's clear that it's time to end this lockdown. After Professor Ferguson was caught breaching the rules and resigned, I tweeted out on so and put on social media, it's the UK lockdown is done. If Boris doesn't end it, the people will. And the people are of their own volition ending this uh, themselves. People are going to the beach, people are going to the park, sunbathing, people are going back to work, uh, traffic levels are increasing. In London, there's a uh, one tunnel under the Thames in the east called the Blackwall Tunnel. And in peak hours, that's now as busy uh, as it was beforehand with queues going back um, half a mile or so just as normal because people need to get to work uh, in their cars. So it's things are going back to normal anyway. The people are ending this. So what I said was actually a simple fact. But what surprised me is the amount of vitriol and abuse I got from this new lockdown lobby that seems to want to keep a lockdown in place for however much longer. I don't know how much longer they would like to keep um, our civil liberties uh, gone and uh, keep businesses closed? Is it weeks? Is it months? Is it years? Until there's everybody's forcibly got a tracking app on their phone, everyone's forced to take a vaccine, there's, there's no planes flying in the sky, there's no cars. I don't know what these people want. But the viciousness and the, the visceral the viscerality of uh, what these these people are writing to me was, was quite shocking, to be honest. So I've been in politics for five years, and I've got used to um, social media storms and people, um, you know, being abusive behind the cover of anonymity on social media. Um, but there was not even any pretense of, of any intelligence behind. Uh, the thousands of comments uh, that were sent my way was just basically, you know, euphemistically, you, you're, you're a punt, uh, you're a banker, you're a brick, and that's it, you know, um, shut up. Uh, no intelligence, no argument, uh, nothing apart from visceral abuse coming my way from 
the lockdown lobby. Well, well that tells me that um, something bad is being defended uh, with abuse of anyone who intelligently questions what's going on, as I have over the weeks this has been uh, in place, as have many other intelligent people like Toby Young and Peter Hitchens and Laura Perrins and others. Uh, so it's time to end this now. Yes, the, the, it is serious, and I do understand if you know someone uh, personally who's been affected, and I know people uh, who've died from, from this disease, um, then you, it affects you personally. I understand that. But looking at the data that we have now, rather than the dodgy modelling that got us into this in the first place, uh, and looking at the long term, it really is time to end this now. So that's why I called on Boris to end it. And if he doesn't, I think that will be a very, very bad decision indeed.